Hi friends, welcome. We'll try to learn how to take the user inputs in a cloud platform. So we are highly recommending to use the Google Scholar platform for Python. So in this Scholar platform, we can develop a uh, user interface. So like at Kinter, what you have used earlier. So then how you will take the user input, say like a check button, a radio button. Even we can ask the user to select a date by not by typing it, but by browsing through a calendar and pick up a date. So all this interface, even we can give the outputs also to the uh, user for a better visual uh, presentation. So all these things will develop in a collab platform and by using the our Jupyter notebook. So we'll learn more about this. Visit this page. This URL is there in the description. You can browse and uh, see the all the sections here. You can open this, move to any part of the this entire tutorial and you can see the details here, copy the code. You can move to the top also and here I have, you can see the bottom of this page, a link here. You can download the entire Jupyter notebook for your local uses or you can upload it to your Collab platform and use it. I just search for Google Collab and here it is, my Collab link is there. I must log in before uh, I using this. So please log in to your Google account then search this and come here here you will be presented with this screen then here the see the upload button click that browse what you have downloaded the ipynv file or jupyter notebook that you have to browse it from your local system just upload it i have opened the same jupyter notebook or what i have downloaded it it is in my collab platform you must log into your collab platform and start using this after uploading just open the file so here it is if i will run it you can see here i have imported the ip widgets now here i need not install it because it is already available this library is in the collab platform so i can change this slider here you can see i can change and click it to get the value whatever the slider value similarly i can see user drop down checkbox text output let's run this and see the how it works here it is i am Raju, I have take given the input name, then I have from the drop down, I have selected Jupyter JavaScript, then I clicked it. Hello Raju, you selected JavaScript. So this is how I can take the data and display it also. So this is the int range slider, toggle button, color picker is there, so I can use that one. Let's run this cell. Each cell you can download it or read it from our article here. You can read every details here once again and get the detail copy the data copy the source code also here you see it's the range selector i am using now i can mode i can transfer and here is a color picker so i will select this let me go to red zone pick up a color here come back and submit it i will get the hex code also of the color what i have picked up and other details along with that now here is a date picker along with the other widgets text area file upload button output and all so here if i'll run this I, I need not have to enter manually the date. I can click this, get a calendar, browse to the different months, whatever I want, and I can pick up a date here. The date is entered. Now I can write some text, anything I want, and submit it. I can upload a file also for my in internal processing. Here you can see the date, is what date I have selected is picked up here. Now similarly, you can see the password, radio buttons, many other widgets you can check this let me run this one and come here price i can increase the price by clicking this enter a password password is masked here so pay it so this all the details are collected here similarly you can see the in text and all you can watch this this is a progress bar you, you can see here whatever data i am entering here based on that this progress bar is taking the value or i can I have increased it now I am decreasing the value so it was the progress bar to the right of it so I can use a progress bar also the there is a towards the end you can see okay here also lot of other uh, widgets you can use it so checkbox tabs you can use checkbox here click this slide it also sliders you can integrate on your application and use that one also so here it is you can further go also here along with a color picker color picker also integrated along with this you can see here i have picked up rate convert actually this is a application here you can see this is the 
is a small project complete solution of temperature converter from one to other in the article what you have discussed here you can see at the end you have a small using user try this practice project you can see of you watch this practice project you can try this one and summary conclusion okay fine go to the top click here frequently try this practice project come back wizard so this is for your uh, bonus color picker change the background color free hand for your experience you can use this this particular uh, to understand it celsius to fahrenheit or fahrenheit to celsius temperature converter only simple one you can try it the solution is here that's all friends hope you have a good learning experience and enjoyed this uh, session so if you have any idea doubt suggestion questions use the comment section below to post it on my request is please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add tutorial and we are frequently adding our tutorials also please share this with your friends and thank you for watching